What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game podcast. And Caitlin Clark, man, hey, I never thought I'd see the day where I would order me a Caitlin Clark jersey, man. But it looks like that's what I'm going to do as a fan of the game. I love everything about this young lady. And she started it in Indiana and is still going in Indiana. And her debut was nothing short of sensational. But before I continue to talk about this, I want to ask you guys to do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Keep your boy in these algorithms. And also, subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Stay tuned for the next future videos. Thank you so much for the love and support. Back to the video. Caitlin Clark uh, continues to impress, man. Continues to put the WNBA on her back now. Uh, you know, she did phenomenal things for women's college basketball. Uh, and to see her, you know what I mean, like, you know, not afraid of the next level, not afraid of the challenge, not afraid of the WNBA players talking that smack, saying that, you know, it's going to be like this when you come into the WNBA, it's going to be like that. You know, trying to put fear in this young lady's heart. Uh, all of the people trying to, you know, stir up the, the shit and drama between the whole Angel Reese situation when anybody with you know a set of eyes you know anybody with a set of eyes can see that this girl this young lady just has god-given potential you know what I'm saying and she works on her craft uh caitlin clark man blows me away man i watched the highlights uh this morning man at 21 points she put up in her debut you know what i'm saying i think this is this is phenomenal man you know and i know that you know a lot of men like myself who don't spend a lot of time watching um you know WNBA or women's sports but this playing style she has is stir it's definitely Steph Curry like and it just makes you not even notice or or really realize that it's women's uh basketball because of her style man she's just good she's pure gold uh she deserves all of these endorsements you know what I'm saying the 28 million dollar Nike deal she got you know uh I don't know if she turned down the the big threes uh you know offer or not but she had five million waiting on her with ice cube but man oh man she did the right thing a lot of people are saying about her salary man when you're making millions and millions in endorsements you're not really thinking about your salary you just want to do your, you want to do your dream you want to live out your dream and she's doing that you know and 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 i'm gonna tell you guys something she with some sisters now okay so it's going to look totally different and y'all ain't gonna see everybody punking her out uh you know, trying to beat her down, trying to bully her, you know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Unlike Iowa college women's basketball, where she had, you know, a bunch of white girls with her for the most part, and she still was balling like that. Now she got some sisters from, you know, from the hood. <laughs> I'm just being honest. She has the support now, you know what I'm saying? She has the, the teammates, you know what I'm saying? And it's only gonna grow stronger. You know, though they still lost the game by three points, you got to admire everything that she put up. You know what she's going to do for the game, the WNBA. It's just going to be amazing. And, and I looked at the WNBA draft. You know there there were a lot of other candidates that I feel will do great things as well because everybody is you know good on this level. Everybody, it's the best of the best, just like the NBA. But you know seeing her teammates rally behind her, support her in her debut. You know what I'm saying that first three going in, it's like a high. You know what I'm saying and. and her confidence is through the roof, man. You can just see it from afar, you know? And I want to speak on the whole, you know, Angel Reese situation because I just see a lot of foolery in, 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 you know, online, on the media, you know, where people are saying this and people are saying that and it's white versus black. Why does it have to always come to that? Can it ever just be sports? Can it, can it just be good basketball, bad basketball? Why does it have to be black and white? You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate that narrative. I really do. Because when I look at a Caitlin Clark, the way she carries herself, it just seems like that's the least of her worries, right? But the whole Angel Reese situation, you know, and this is something that I'm strongly against, not just Angel Reese, but I just don't like the whole, yeah, black, un unapologetically me, doing this and doing that. I don't want to hear all that shit, honestly. I don't give a damn. I just want to watch good basketball. Truthfully, I do. And all of the hate and negative energy that she spews towards this young lady, Caitlin Clark, is exactly why her career seems and will most likely go further than Angel Reese. You know what I'm saying? Because if anything, Angel Reese was mid in college. 
You see what I'm saying? So on the next level, she's going to have to work super hard to up her game because a lot of the WNBA teams, they did not know, you know, where she was going to be. You know what I'm saying? What skill set she has. At least with, with Kayla Clark, she's a complete system. Literally, you build around her. I don't think it's the same for Angel Reese. So if this was the case, don't you guys think that she would have those endorsements? Don't you guys think that she would have the State Farm commercials? Don't you guys think that she would have the Nike deal? No. It's all about class. It's all about how you carry yourself. It's all about how you talk, how you act, how you walk. That stuff does matter. And we do a great job of bigging up ignorance here. We got to do better as a community, man, because at the end of the day, around her, you see like sisters that really do support her. You see that sisters really do love this young lady. So it really shouldn't just be, you know, all this negativity towards this young lady, man. Maybe she worked her whole life. She didn't ask for this superstardom. She didn't ask for uh, all of this love and support that she's getting. You know what I mean? Like she's just... She's just blessed at the end of the day, man. And her debut was nothing short of sensational. You see the teammates putting a chain around her neck, you know, getting her Kirk Cousins on in his mug. And uh, man, I'm just happy for this young lady, man, because I can only I can only get behind this lady and ride. If you can revolutionize a whole sport and revamp it the same way Steph Curry did, you have to respect that. You just do. There was not this many people watching college basketball, especially brothers. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak for uh, Caucasian men, but me as a brother, I'm tuned in for this young lady. I, I'm a fan and I support her. And to some people, that may seem like an Uncle Tom or maybe I'm not hip or maybe I'm not this. But I tell you one thing, I'm true. And I'm being true to myself. Caitlin Clark is the truth. You guys weigh in with your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Caitlin Clark dropping at 21 points, uh, you know, in Indiana doing her thing. Uh, you know, creating her WNBA legacy and staying true to herself is completely on brand. Weigh in with your thoughts, comments, and concerns. If you guys found any value to my video, I ask you guys to do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future content. Thank you so much for the love and support. Like always, let me know how you charge the game. Peace.